everybody! Welcome back to another Bucket Productions! Look at us getting so fat! Guys are done watching the intro you know i was kind of wondering if you guys could tell what today's video is going to be about or not i just <laughs> it's going to be about hair okay specifically it's going to be about blonde hair now i just got two reactions from y'all's faces right there one is the you you have blonde hair and the other is you have blonde hair i thought it was brown the first thought about being blonde is oh you must get a lot of blonde jokes. Y'all have no idea. Okay, even my hair being like a dirty blonde, a darker blonde, I get a lot of blonde jokes. And to be honest, some of them are pretty good. Whenever I was young, I got tired of my family saying, it's okay, baby, it's just because you're blonde. Of course, they were only joking. Well, one day I eventually said, you know, I don't really get the whole blonde thing. <laughs> Not all blondes are ditzes like me because some are Harvard and astronauts and such and amazingly smart people. But some blonde jokes are just mean though. Like, no, I am the only blonde in my family. The only one. All my other family have either one of these colors. I is the only one with blonde. Hence, Karen, Karen, Karen. See, that's the girl I was talking think she's adopted? And if I don't hear those people, I most certainly hear these. Hey, oh my gosh, hey, I was just wondering, are you adopted? To answer that lifelong question, no, I'm not adopted. I have been blessed with my mom and my dad, so me. I have never been questioned until recently about my hair color. I was at Dollar Tree. Now I was getting some stuff. What else do you do at Dollar Tree? The lady, cashier, super sweet and I'm just checking out my stuff, asking how her day's going, and she comes, she just looks up at me, and she says, I love your hair. I was like, oh my gosh, thanks, right? And she goes, you know, when I was your age, pause, right there, you know it's about to go down, something's going to go down, you know? I walked to school, in the snow, uphill, both ways. Okay, play. She commences to saying, you know, whenever I was your age, I tried to get my hair to look that color too. I responded as respectfully as I knew how, and that was, oh really? Oh well, uh, actually, this is my real hair color. Really? Yes ma'am. <laughs> I never knew somebody would want my hair color. It's not quite blonde, and it's not quite brown, it's just one is saying, I love your hair, never change it. The other is saying, dye your hair. And then the other is asking, have you dyed it? I don't understand. Y'all help me out. And is it weird that I actually forget I have blonde hair? Like, I'm so used to seeing my family with their brown or their black hair that I so often forget I have blonde hair. But I shed. I actually shed like well that only makes sense the average human head has about 100,000 hairs on their head but blondes blondes have 150,000 so I mean it explains your shedding a little bit <laughs> yes <laughs> this is a weird thing that nobody really thinks about I have the hardest time wearing yellow with yellow hair I always thought you know like yellow hair yellow shirt it just looked kind of one monotone going on <laughs> I love the color pink, but a blonde loving pink gives the idea, and I ain't no by any stretch of the imagination. I'm sitting here looking up facts for my head. <laughs> Here's what I found. Head, take it from here, please. Did you know that being naturally blonde is actually a genetic mutation? Like, it's super rare. Apparently, one letter changed in the three billion letters of your DNA causes you being blonde. Whoa. But whenever I was young, I was strawberry blonde, then platinum blonde, then just 
blonde, yellow blonde with red highlights. And now this. You know, whenever blondes mature and hit puberty, they actually lose some of the blondness and turn to darker colors. Did you know that the mixture of blonde and red hair is the rarest combination for blonde heads? Cool. Blondes become more blonde in the sunlight. What? Well, that's true. The more sunlight a blonde has, the more light their hair becomes. Being blonde comes with its downfalls. Being blonde can cause our skins to have less melatonin, which causes us to be more susceptible to skin cancer. Totally random fact, but found it super interesting. Marilyn Monroe was not naturally blonde. Well, who the heck knew that? All of this is to say that no matter what your eye color, lip color, hair color, or skin color is, is that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and that no matter what, we each and of ourselves, no matter how quirky, no matter how many blonde moments or any other kind of moments we have, we are each and every one of us so distinctively beautiful, each and in our, our own ways. <laughs> so don't you forget it. And you guys have a great rest of your day. If you like this video, please go down below, like it, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video with your friends. Remind them just how beautiful they are too. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. <clears throat>